Hello, hello, what's up? Justin. Hey, how do you, I was wondering, I heard somebody else say your name, Jostin. How do you pronounce it? Is it like Jostin or Jostin? I've been always calling you Jostin. What's up? Thanks for the like and retweet. Colleen, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Getting ready to try making some jello and then I'm going to do some art later. Joe Sten. Okay, cool. Sweet. Sorry, I've been saying it wrong all this time. I was just watching um, Sloan do his DJ set while I was painting. Hey, what's up? Colleen, Colleen. You guys want to see uh, what I just painted? Sneak peek view. First ones to see it. There it is. The doctor is in. Tried to go with a little bit of a analogous type of color scheme. And then um, a little bit of complementary colors in there just to liven it up. So that's what's going on, but now I'm going to try to make some jello. I've never made jello before. And then I'll get back to some art later. <clears throat> do, do, do. Take some dishes with me while I'm at it. So, what are you guys up to on this Sunday afternoon? It's not time yet. All done. Cat thinks it's time to eat. I might feed him early just so he stops screaming. Meow, 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 meow. The the thing that's going to be tough here is trying to mount this uh, phone in a way where y'all could see me and stuff. I suppose I could get my other mount and. Actually, I think that's going to be the only way to really do it, is get uh, the thing I've been using. It just sucks because I have to like use tape and stuff because it's not working the way it used to. But whatever. I'll do it for you guys and gals. Mad Pirate, what's up? Hey, you want to see what I just painted since I'm over here? Thanks for the... Only you guys get to see this. Thanks for stopping in. How's your guys' weekend been going? Still got a little bit left, right? At least. Justin, you can see I, I tried my hand for the first time at doing uh, the lettering, but... Um, Jostin, <laughs> gotta say it right. But uh, I kind of outlined it just because it wasn't popping out enough. And, you know, it's not the greatest in the world. But um, I was getting good results. It just, I didn't like how the borders looked without the lines um, with the watercolors. So I went in and put lines around it. But I was able to get, you know, some stuff looking pretty good. I mean, for my first time, I thought it was came out all right. Do I vectorize any of my work? No. And I'm, I try to... I, I mean, I, I, I'm down with digital, but I just never mess with digital hardly. Thanks, dude. It's my style. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see. You applied to new jobs? That's cool. So back to jello making. <laughs> Or get to jello making. Just dropped in to say hi. I am almost out for some dice rolling Sunday. Alright, dude. Go roll them dice. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. 
All right, where should I put this? Where y'all can see everything. I mean, I don't even know what the process of making Jello is. I think it's pretty simple. I just want to make sure I get it going because I want to have it for tonight for my wife. Um, she's having a procedure tomorrow and she can only eat clear things or drink clear things. So Jello is one of those things until tomorrow morning or tomorrow actually tomorrow afternoon so I'm making some jello but it's got to sit for like four hours so I want to make sure I get this thing started oh. do, do, do. I should uh, put, put the radio on in here while I'm doing this I don't think this will take too long right? Has it, have any of you guys ever made um, jello Maybe you can walk me through it. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I got the boxes. I can look at it, but. My house is a mess. So if you happen to see any of that, well, sorry. <laughs> Guy, even though I never eat it. Yeah, I, I like pudding too. I don't even, I don't eat jello at all, really. Jello shots maybe once in a while, <laughs> once in a great while. Sorry for the audio only thing, I don't know. Hopefully the stream goes well because I'm getting a little tired of the streams dropping out, you know. It used to be a slow. Man, I remember when I was little, um, you know, before even like nursery school, I don't know how I remember it, but my mom would make me pudding. Like I'd be watching TV or whatever, like Saturday morning cartoons. And I think I there's like this one time she made me pudding and put it like on one of those TV trays. And some of you might not remember that it was Saturday morning cartoons every morning, every Saturday morning. That was like the big thing. Now it's on all the time, I guess. But, um, I just remember that I spilled spilled the pudding all over the place and I think she like got me more and I spilled that too or something. I don't know. <laughs> Along with pop tarts, juice and a bowl of cereal while laying in bed. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. <laughs> all right, so let's see. Today we got a uh, peach jello. Have you get I never had peach jello. She wanted pineapple, but they didn't have any in the store. But she loves peach, so we're going to figure this out. I think I'm going to make two boxes. I don't, I don't know how much to make, but two boxes seems about right. All right, let's see. Directions, one cup boiling water, one cup cold water. So i got to make sure I double that. Add boiling water to gelatin mix. mix. Stir two minutes until completely dissolved. Then stir in the cold water. Refrigerate for four hours or until firm. Mix four half cup servings. So hopefully this is enough. Maybe I should just make all three. Because I don't know how, like, it can't be that filling if this is all she's going to be eating, you know? What are you guys up to? I'm about to make some jello and then I'm about to get into some art. So I don't think this will take too long. Um, I could probably talk to you while it's boiling. Obviously, it's going to take a little while to boil. All right, so one cup of boiling thing water. So I'm going to need three cups of water because I'm going to do three boxes and a pot. I was just using it the other day. Oh, it's in the sink. Hopefully I'll be able to like, I don't really have a lot of charge on my phone. I have like 62%, but whatever. We'll see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna wash dishes <laughs> for a minute. Yeah, I'll just keep it over there for now. Wash the dishes quickly.
So what are you guys up to this afternoon, Sunday afternoon? Chilling? Hopefully. I don't like to get too active on Sundays, if I can help it. I like to chill. Chill out with family, chill out at home. Stuff like that. Maybe go out somewhere, but just as long as it's chilled out. I mean, today I'm like basically working. I'm do I did my painting earlier, and um, I'll show you guys that if you haven't seen it. I just showed it to the to everybody else who was here early, and I'll show you once I get back into the studio. So, yeah. So just washing the uh, measuring cup here. It'll take a second. And I gotta fill it up with some water. Three cups to be exact. Alright, let's see. Filling it up right now. I guess this is a fairly simple process, so that's cool. I wanted to stream earlier, but unfortunately I have to use my camera that I stream with for recording as well. So that's kind of a pain, you know, that I can't do that. I'm hoping to save up for another camera so I can record on one and stream on the other so I can stream the whole time, you know. So I just put the pot on the thing to boil. Beautiful angle for us to see, along with Pop-Tarts. Cool, man. Yeah, I don't know. It's, there's not really much to do, actually. So I got to boil that, and I just got to get some cold water. So I might just move you back into the studio soon. Add boiling water to gelatin mix. Stir two minutes until completely dissolved. Stir in cold water and then refrigerate for four hours. Cool. So I guess I'll wait till the thing boils and uh, grab the cold water. After that, three cups and get my pan out. Make some room in the refrigerator too. I don't think there's any room for a bowl like this. Maybe I should put it in a different kind of bowl. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Although she did say she wanted it in this can, so. How long have I been doing art? Well, remember I was just telling you that story of me having putting before nursery school pretty much that long <laughs> I've just always been doing art um, pretty much my whole life how about you how long you been doing the calligraphy stuff Justin Justin I gotta get used to that Making sure I have room here. Actually, if I move a couple things. Should be good. Maybe I'll transfer this into another bowl. Or maybe I'll just eat it. I don't really want to have like um, good like food smelly things that make my wife hungry because she's not going to really be able to eat much outside of this jello. So heating it up later when she's up probably isn't the greatest idea. So maybe I'll just eat this now and hopefully be mostly full for the day. <clears throat> a 
seriously over over a year every single day almost at two years so far it's my second passion since my main focus is graphic design cool man yeah yeah man i've been doing it forever but not consistently like like you're saying you work on it every day like i have years worth of time where i was just kind of not really drawing that much hardly at all um and then when I was more active, it would be, you know, here and there. Rarely did I go through times where it was I was drawing every single day until the last couple of years, I guess, where I have been, even still, it's been spotty. But, uh, you know, now I'm really kind of on a roll, especially with Meerkat. It's helping me to just really fill up my sketchbook and stuff. So... I'm definitely doing art every single day with Meerkat, so that's like awesome. One of the awesome things of having Meerkat, it pushes me to get work done every single day. I love that. Because that's kind of what I always want to do, but get caught up in life and don't get to it, you know? What got you into uh, graphic design? Because I would assume you'd be into art maybe, but I guess not all graphic designers are even into art. They just are into graphic design, I guess. <laughs> it's, it is an artistic, or a cre it's definitely a creative thing, but I, get, I could see how you, know, you might not be an artist and you can still do graphic design, or I mean artist is a relative term. You can be a, you work at Subway and be a sandwich artist, <laughs> but yeah, I think you know what I mean, like the traditional idea of like a drawing painting artist. Before I was into graph heavily, oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to do skateboard deck designs. Well, you should, man. Nowadays, if you can't figure out a way to get hired to do it, do it yourself, you know, if you really want to do it. anything is approachable now. Maybe I should finish off this coffee too while we're at it. This is some dark coffee. Sitting in the pot all day. And yesterday too. And I had no idea what graphic design was until one of my homies who skateboarded told me. Cool? To be honest, I mean, I guess I know what it is. But I don't, like, know the details of what it's like to really... I mean, I've done graphic design work on my own projects, like I've designed my, I've designed, well, even other people's, like, CD covers and my CD covers, and, you know, just different graphic design type of things for, like, my website and, you know, business card things and stuff, so I've done it, you know, kind of on my own, but not, like, as a job for other people. I've always, um, that's one thing my teachers always told me, was that I had a really good design sense. Wow, this stuff's already boiling, so that's cool. Let me get my, uh, three cups of water all set here, and three cups of cold water. that 
unfiltered water, yo. So, for everybody else who hasn't been here, I'm making jello for the first time. And it seems like it's pretty darn easy so far from what I can tell. Well, maybe I should use a bowl for the mixing portion. <coughs> of ways but turn off the stove put the stuff in open here I should have opened these up already peach jello so what is everybody else up to today, Sunday afternoon, just chilling? Probably uh, made a bad mistake of trying to stream while, uh, what the heck is his name, Grant Cardone streaming. He's always mobbing like crazy. But whatever. I don't care. I got, I got my buddies. I got Jostin here hanging out with me and whoever else. Thanks for hanging out, by the way. That guy's always streaming anyways, it seems like. Mixy Mixy for two minutes. Let's see, it's 2.40. So at 2.42, the mixing shall be done. The stirring. Boil water, gel to mix, stir two minutes until completely dissolved. This stuff smells gross. My wife will probably love it though. Laugh aloud, he takes everyone. <laughs> yep. I don't understand what mobbing is. Oh. Well, mobbing is, um,. Like if you get up to 50 or more like really quick, I don't know what the exact numbers are. I know 50 is one of the landmarks. Um, but if you're like, you know, getting big numbers super quick, then it goes into mobbing mode, which just basically means up at the um, corner or whatever, like right here, <laughs> there will be like a rocket ship come through and then it'll have this little label that says mobbing. It's, it's just a goofy little thing. It doesn't, it's not really all that important or anything, but it's fun. What up, what up, everybody? How you guys doing? Just chilling here, making some jello, some peach jello. J-E-L-L-O. What do you think? Should I throw some alcohol in it? <laughs> no, I won't do that. This is for my wife. She doesn't want no alcohol. Hey, wow, it's already 2.42. Now we put the cold water in it. And I think that's all you do. You throw it in the fridge after that. It's pretty easy. Stir in cold water, refrigerate four hours or until for firm. Mix for, yeah, that's it. Speed set method, so there's an even faster way to make it? Oh boy. It's fast enough, I thought. All right, here we go, we're putting it in the fridge. Let me open the fridge. <laughs> Should I put plastic over it? I feel like I've seen people put plastic over it before. I don't, I don't think I have plastic anyway, so I won't be able to do that. All right. Well, that was easy. Put the 
this pan back, throw the stuff away, and we can get to some art. Some art. Art in there. It was good to have this break though. I've just been painting for hours and glad I had a chance to do something else. Stand up for a little bit, get out of the chair, get into some drawing, or um, some making something. Bill Cosby. Not there, is he? <laughs> J E L L O. No, he's not here. I wouldn't let him in my house. <laughs> I love Bill Cosby, or loved. I don't know, it's a little tough now. <laughs> Finding out that he was kind of, he's been kind of a creep all this time. It sucks. I think everybody loved that dude. I, I think he was freaking awesome. He was so funny. He hung out with the kids, did cool stuff. And come to find out, he's pretty much confirmed to be a creep. It sucks. Alright, so, let me just get my food, my coffee. This, did I even heat this up? What's up, Herb? Thanks for the like and the retweet. Andy Herbert. How you doing? The other marshal's in the house. Imagine if Mr. Rogers was like that. Life wouldn't be the same. I know, right? Luckily, I'm pretty sure Mr. Rogers was somewhat of a stand-up guy, but, you know, it broke my heart when I found out about you know, Bill Cosby. I didn't want to believe it. But, you know, it is what it is, unfortunately. Thanks for the like and retweet, man. I really appreciate that. Pretty soon I'm going to show you guys what I painted today. And then get to some more artwork. Just waiting for my uh, food to microwave, finish microwaving. I gotta stir this cream around. Hey, is Stony Green still streaming? <laughs> I was watching Stoney's stream and we watched Kung Fury and he went to go to the bathroom and then he never came back and Kung Fury played again so I watched that again and uh, cause I wanted to cause it's freaking awesome. If you guys haven't seen Kung Fury and you like old 80's action movies, you gotta see it. Just look it up on YouTube. Um, but and we'll get back to that too cause it, I'll have something to say but um yeah so he just left that on and then music videos started playing on his tv and he was just like must have been sleeping or something <laughs> so i don't know last time i looked he was still streaming whatever was on tv dude's a trip love stone J-E-L-L-O That stuff smells crappy I'm glad I'm not eating it My wife will probably like it though She loves uh, peach stuff Peach flavored stuff Alright, I'm going to have to take like two trips What's up, Artistic Marshall? <laughs> Not much. How you doing, Texas Marshall?
you guys are like taped to the counter so that's why I'm wiggling you all over the place hot bowl I already ate a bunch of this it's like this like chicken enchilada hamburger helper but there was some left in the pot so I felt like it was lonely and it needed to be with all the other stuff that's in my belly know what I mean I'll grab the coffee and then I'll show you guys the painting I did today no more flooding here in Texas so it's all good well that's awesome to be honest I didn't know there was flooding sorry <laughs> um, I haven't had cable for like 15 years and I just don't pay much attention to current events that much at work sometimes I hear about it but if it happened during the weekend then I'm kind of screwed coffee But that really sucks. I hate to be in a situation like that. We've had some things like that here in Connecticut. And um, luckily anything that's close to a natural disaster or whatever has always been pretty much very few, like one or two casualties. Um, Maybe before I was born or when I was younger, there was some real bad ones. I'm not sure. Like, we've had hurricanes come through. We had a tornado come through. Um, or a couple tornadoes come through a couple years ago. Uh, we had a, kind of a real bad thing with a snowstorm in October. That was crazy. That was definitely probably the craziest thing I've been through. But um, we didn't, like... Again, there wasn't really any casualties, but it, it like, kind of destroyed the state for a couple months 28 people killed houses swept away oh man that sucks dude hopefully it was nobody you knew but that sucks whoever it was ryan what's up thanks for the like hey hey all right so i'm going to show you guys the painting i did today and then uh we will start working on some more art let me get the tripod all set back up here. I'm gonna need more tape. I'm gonna need more wax. Whoever uh, gets that reference gets a fist bump. <laughs> We're gonna need more wax. Look who it is, Justin Dooley, it's you. Justin, you're uh, quite popular. That's what's up, dude. How's everything? Ryan Dupree. <laughs> I like the, uh, whatever. Uh, what are those? Like, just bird hands or something? It's cool. Wings. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, so you guys want to see this? Artasm. Man, it sucks. My battery life is kind of low. Sucks. At 49. Hopefully I can recover from that. Alright. This is my weekly painting for this week. The doctor is in. Suggested by my brother-in-law. He's working on like a computer. So, try to go with a somewhat like monochromatic type of theme. Tried my best to start doing some of this calligraphy, which came out okay, but then I went and outlined it and it made it look not as great. But the way the watercolor like was mixing with the background color, like kind of looked crappy. So I kind of had to put the outline there. But I don't mind because it's like my first time trying to do it and stuff. So hopefully I'll kind of figure out my method. Jazz hands. <laughs> Long day already so finally got to the nap couch. Nice. Did you already take the nap or you got to still take it?
that um, whole thing with you and uh, Elisa was awesome last night. That was fun. She still she went on for another like half hour after that. After you left. Oh, I didn't even ask. How was um, poker the other night? I guess I didn't see you streaming, so maybe you didn't win. <laughs> I might have been, like, asleep, though, too. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Alright, so this one's done. Actually, what I should do is start getting this video at least to start processing, just because that part is the longest. The thing that takes the most time. Maybe I can clean my brushes too while I'm at it. Alright, so let's just get this going. Do do do, do do do. Actually, I can close that out. Save as discard changes. Do do do, do do do. Yeah, cool. Gotta be trying new stuff. Good work. Thank you. Appreciate it. Number Studio, thanks for the um, like. Thanks for the like, Mike. Thank you, Andy. I really appreciate it. Third guy knocked out, so that's why I was playing guitar. <laughs> Was that the same night? <laughs> same night you were playing guitar too? I, I'm like... Lost, I guess. I don't know what the heck I'm... Thinking. Yeah, cause you, uh... You did do that stream early in the day. I'm used to you doing it at night, so... Sucks being knocked out. I always, like, wanna just keep playing and stuff. But... Especially because I play poker so very ran uh, rarely, you know. It's like, I wish I could play more, I, you know. It's fun. Alright. Just want to get these videos processing real quick. And we'll move on to doing some art. Anybody know how to uh, kind of keep free, a lot of free space on your iPhone? It's so hard, like I can only pretty much video for about a half hour. Sometimes I can kill enough stuff on my phone to video for like an hour to record but that I mean for like 45 minutes but that's about it it's always hard trying to figure out how to process all of that or I mean conserve space I should say Okay, so today, this painting that I did took about, it looks like, close to two hours, about an hour and f 50 minutes, just if you're interested to know how long something like that takes for me. I only know that because, you know, the video, all the videos put together is that. Also was kind of distracted so some of the video part like I'm probably missing parts of the video but whatever it goes by so fast like I don't think anybody would even notice anyways so that's that 
save project as doctor is in I'll be right there guys just processing the, getting this processing here doctor is in speed thingy save movie save as video file that's the right one save actually I have to make sure everything is upright cancel 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 this has got to be turned this got to be turned do 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 just about there guys save movie Factors in speed. Just gotta put it in the right folder. And that should be good. Minimize the tray. Alright. We're back. Cooking with gas. Let's see what everybody was saying, if anything. I'll check back. I'm in a lasagna come coma, so I'm out. <laughs> nice. Alright, so, I guess I could kind of clean my brushes a little bit, at least kind of rinse them. This has got like shampoo in it. I heard that shampoo is like one of the best ways to clean your brushes, which makes sense because brushes are typically kind of made out of hair. <laughs> I mean, there's synthetic brushes and stuff, but, you know, it's probably mimicking hair or whatever. But if it is like hair, bro, you know, shampoo makes total sense. But you wouldn't think of it necessarily. Nothing too crazy. Not going to like go nutty with the washing because I'm about to probably use them again. So, speaking about painting and drawing and whatnot, um, what I was thinking that I probably will do is... Uh, start doing some um, Kung Fury fan art because that sh movie is so awesome and while I was watching it I told him I'm like you know what I think I just decided that I'm gonna do try to do every character cuz this freaking movie is so sick and it's fun and I wanna and I'll quote, I'll quote the great Ryan Dupree here. I do what I want. <laughs> so what are you guys all up to this Sunday afternoon? Hopefully you're chilling, relaxing, having some food or something. Hanging out with family or something. Not cooped up in a studio like me. <laughs> Although, I love being cooped up in the studio, to be honest. But I do need to get out sometimes, too, for sure. I'm just glad I have an opportunity to stream today, too, because I really want to stream at least once every day. check in with the homies, you know. All right. So, I have other boards. I don't want to use this one, I don't think. Actually, this guy here is already set up. And I wasn't going to necessarily do I don't know, I was thinking of maybe doing these characters on smaller pieces of paper. 
but I do kind of like drawing big. Hmm. But what size would I do? Gene Wilder's hair is in here. What is up, dude? How you doing? Mr. J. I'm not quick with the names yet, but I do I am remembering names. So that's good. Hey, give me a break. It's only been a little over two weeks. <laughs> and I'm already remembering a lot of people's names. So one thing that I'm a little not sure of, because I want to start incorporating, and just Justin, maybe you could help me with this, is I want to start incorporating, um, you know, this uh, either calligraphy or, you know, just lettering in general into my pictures. You know, but I like I was having trouble with this painting because like I did the letters first and so then when I was doing the background I kinda like the edges of the letter and the background were like kinda looking all wonky and stuff you can kinda s maybe see it a little bit here so I don't know like how to layer this stuff in a way hopefully it'll focus see I don't know if you could tell but like on this edge right here it's like dark and there's like some different oh right here there's some you can really tell so it's like I, that's why I did the outlining but I don't really want to do that outlining um, so I don't know I mean I guess I could just use ink of course over the watercolor or something something more opaque I guess there's probably a lot of ways you could do it Dude, I've remembered like 100 names in less than a month. I didn't think I could. Wow, that's awesome. I wish, I hope I can do it. <laughs> Good man, love watching these artists do their thing. Please send me that pen. <laughs> Grid out the paper, yeah, I know kind of about that. Like this pen, really? This is just, um like one of those cheap sets that you get at like Michaels or whatever I forget what brand now it's probably I forget what brand what do you color that with um this painting was colored with watercolor in regards to lowercase and capital letters what type of paper and ink are you using watercolor paper and watercolor I didn't use ink um, this time, except for, well, I did for the um, lines, but, you know, for the actual letters, um, that's watercolor. I uh, probably need to start investing in some ink, but it, the book I was, this is the book I got, I don't know, I didn't show anybody actually. But it's a cool book, but it said you could use like watercolor and gouache and different things. You just load it a little bit differently into the pen. But yeah, this is the book I got. I, re I read a bunch of it the other day while I was at Barnes and Nobles and then I uh, scanned the barcode and found out it was a lot cheaper on Amazon <laughs> while I was at the store. So I ordered it off of Amazon instead. But uh, yeah, it's a cool book. It's got a lot of info. And then I just went with this regular kind of typical gothic style. It's got a lot of cool examples of artistic stuff too in there. Like this. And like some of the... I guess poetry and stuff. Like people write out poetry in really like artistic ways. Which is really cool. I don't know, I, I, here's some examples. This is the kind of stuff I want to do, like, really super artistic with images and stuff like that. 
so. So, yeah, I don't know if it's speedball. It might be speedball. I don't know. I think I threw away the package that shows what it is. Yeah, watercolor is going to spread, yeah. Yes, Amazon is your friend, absolutely. I think that is why Ryan uses a combination of ink and watercolor. Hmm. Makes sense. You love it? Yeah. But I'm assuming you're talking about the stuff in the book, yeah. It's really cool. There's some really cool stuff in here. Inspiring. I'd love to get into some of this old school, like, illuminated manuscript type stuff, too. Because I've always been inspired by that. Get some, like, that gold leaf stuff or whatever. That would be super rad, yo. I was playing around with some other things today, too. Um, I actually used, um, I used this for a pen. <laughs> The screwdriver flathead and I did hardcore came out pretty cool and then I did Kung Fury and then I was having trouble with um, the folding tip pen that I made and I wasn't sure what was going on and then I just realized I needed to like clean it out like I, I just used the scissors and just like cleaned out cleaned it out and got the edge going a little better and uh was able to make it work really cool and i did this which i think came out really cool just fury so yeah i love that like crazy style stuff like wild style or whatever i don't know what you call it like rough textured type of stuff. Oh yeah, I gotta throw a little more tape down. Tape, tape. I think I want to do small pieces. Because I want these to be kind of quick. Quicker type of pieces. So that's what I'm going to do. Whether you guys like it or not. <laughs> I could actually do three at a time probably here if I use this board, but it's almost too big. Really? This one I could fit two on. I don't know, maybe I should cut it down and do one. Script is hard for me. Then again, so is coloring, painting, etc. Freaking dope. Thank you, dude. If you notice, I don't swear that much. That's why I didn't exactly quote you. <laughs> Where's my tape now? So, if I could find my tape, that would be nice. You know what I think I might do is use this stuff. Um, six by six Bristol board. It comes already in a six by six format. And uh, I got just enough pages probably to do most of the characters in Kung Fury. So why don't I just do that? Keep it stupid simple. <clears throat> I think I might cut this down. Cut them down. Cut them, cut them down. Speak about that. I need some music. Let's 
supposed to be shut them down, what I was just singing, but whatever. Alright, this is getting in my way. I'm running out of places to put things. Because my studio is a mess. Kung Fury! Yes, sir! I swear too much. Try to be better on my streams, though. That is pure craziness. Where's my tape? Because this thing is falling apart. Oh, I think I know where it is. Be right back, guys. I'm just grab that. You guys are just hanging there. See, I told you I needed to get more tape. You guys probably got to see a little weird view there. Sorry about that. Ugh. I need a new stand. I've asked this before, but anybody, <laughs> anybody who knows of a cool like stand for iPhones or whatever that you can put on your desk. Please, please, let me know. It's not like right there easy to find on like Amazon, some of that kind of stuff, as much as you would think it is. I'm gonna start playing with art maybe next weekend gotta go buy some supplies art ain't cheap it's true ah how about a joby with mount a joby i don't know i think i know what that is but i'll write it down Joby stand with mount. Hmm. Joby tripod, you can get small tabletop size ones on Amazon. Well, I have something. This is like a cheap one that I got. Um, at... Oh, awesome, and it just broke. So now I really need one because this is the one my wife uses. Like I said, it's freaking cheap. Goodness gracious. Wanna 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 Oh it didn't break I think and hope and pray but yeah it's this one and it's I mean it's alright I guess but it's not great like it breaks and it just, I don't know, it doesn't like stand very well, like it'll fall one way or the other because it's top heavy with the phone. So, I don't know. I don't know guys. Nothing ever seems to work. Let me get this thing taped before you guys fall again. Sorry, the music's probably a little loud. Turn it 
Also, is there like something that people use for like, I don't know, keeping their phone charged better? I think I, f I feel like I've heard people talking about something that's just better than like your typical like charger. I don't know. There's probably, there's got to be like a show or something that, <laughs> a podcast or something that talks about all this stuff. Or even a website that like recommends stuff or whatever. Reviews stuff. There's probably a hundred of them. I just don't seem to come across them when I look. No, 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 no. Alright, so things are taped. Hopefully that does the trick. Alright, let's catch up with the comments. I should probably get you on the computer too here. If y'all who are just got here or whatever are wondering, I already made the jello, sorry. <laughs> but if you want to check it out, I made this painting today. Hey look, I'm here. Um, so yeah, this is my weekly painting. Now I'm going to get to some more art. Joby Tripod, you can get small tabletop size ones on Amazons. I have a Gorilla Pod by Joby. Thing is a beast. Oh, okay. I'm gonna write that down. I want something that's a beast. And gorillas are beasts. Gorilla Pod. That is too small. Look up Gorilla Pod. Okay, I will. Try a 2.4 amp charger. Okay. See, I knew I had you guys around for a reason. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. Let's get to some art. All right. <clears throat> so I think what I'm going to do is cut up this board. Maybe I'll cut this part because this seems more flat. Where's my razor blade when I need it? Right back. Already back. All right, so we're not going to be exact, I guess. I don't feel like getting the rulers out. We'll just do this line first. Should put something under it real quick. If you guys want to know, this is a trick here. I don't know if you ever will need to do this or not, but um, when you're cutting like a board or even a whatever it is, if it's Bristol board or if it's like even cardboard, um, you take the razor and you hold it like pretty much right upright and you don't put any pressure on it really like just a little bit of pressure but you don't like you know push into it all you got to do and you'll get like a super straight cut I mean obviously you want to use a ruler but I'm not going for super straight but all you got to do is not too much pressure go in the groove that you made and just keep doing that if I could get there. 
and it'll make like the most clean cut you've ever made. Just do it over and over. Let the blade do the work for you. If it was Bristol board, it would already be cut. But because this is, you know, kind of a thick stock cardboard, I am pressing down a little bit more than I normally would. There it is, so now it's separating. And you can kind of see the effect but it's like kind of a nice straight cut except for it would be straighter if I was using a roller but it's a nice clean cut so yeah learn something new every day right <clears throat> I learned that in art school <laughs> in uh... I had a, a graphic design class actually Oops, and they were tell, you know, teaching us like the old school way of, you know, doing illustration and stuff, or doing, um, you know, preparing graphic design for companies before computers were around. It's good to know how that process goes because, in digital terms, it's similar. Still, you know, it's like, I don't know, but. I kind of already forgot a lot of that. I mean, I didn't for. I'm sure I could kind of pull it back out of my memory, but there we go. I don't know. It's not super revolutionary, but to me, it was pretty cool. All right, so now I need to tape this up. Again, most of the stuff I do, I just eyeball. I mean, with the calligraphy, you gotta kinda, you know, measure it all out to make it decent. But thanks, uh, Jay, for the like and the retweet. Trouble07, how you doing? Thanks for the like and retweet. Dude, I've learned so much from the short I've time I've been on Meerkat. Yeah, I've definitely been learning stuff for sure. Absolutely. Just another reason why Meerkat is the bomb diggy. Heck, I wouldn't be messing around with calligraphy if it wasn't for watching uh, Jostin and um, and uh, Trouble 07 over here. I said I was going to play hip hop, and I mean to do it. Because <laughs> I don't hear anybody, barely anybody, playing the hip hop that I kind of listen to. It's cool, like what other people are listening to, but. Yeah, you know, my, you know, my station, my house, you gotta listen to some of this. On De La Soul Radio. Yeah. Little native tongues. Have to get into some Mad Lib and stuff too eventually. Thanks for the love, man. Absolutely, dude. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Everybody check out Jostin and uh, Trouble07. Follow them. They're artists as well and they're cool. 
Also follow Jay, but I think everybody's following Jay. <laughs> Gene Wilder's hair. He's going to start doing some art videos too soon, I hope. Of course, they start off with playing the album that I actually don't like from De La Soul. Bionics. Whatever, I'll just play it anyways. Why is it not playing though, is what I'm thinking. It's like stalling on me. It's annoying. Oh, goodness. I better start drawing. I'm losing battery. <laughs> Can I play some Will Smith? <laughs> no thanks. Actually, I like I like um, Fresh Prince and uh, Jazzy Jeff. Those albums are classic. All right, who's Will Smith? <laughs> and that guy blew up. Roots live. Better eat this food too. So now what I gotta do is look up some Kung Fury reference picks. You guys are gonna get that tilt angle, yo. Alright, I'm not gonna do music because I'm doing this video thing and it's like making it slower. That one's kind of a good one. Let's go with that. We'll just go with that. Going for greatness. What's up, Gabby? How you doing? Hey, hey. All right. So I'm trying to think of <clears throat> how I want to set this up, but I guess I'll just do the, the sketch first. I'm trying to get this gesture in there. 
I want to do this upright and not like screw it up. Man, this is going to be so fun. I freaking love this movie. It's so cool. If you haven't seen Kung Fury yet and you like old action flicks from the 80s, you are missing out. Definitely check it out. It's on YouTube. It's only a 30 minute movie. It's freaking awesome. It's one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. Like literally. It's uh like it's one of those like it's so crappy it's awesome type of things. So don't like think I'm setting you up to see like the next like freaking <laughs> most amazing movie you've ever seen, like the next Lord of the Rings masterpiece or something. <laughs> it's meant to be stupid and it's awesomely stupid. Hey Marshall, what you doing? I'm good. Doing some uh, Kung Fury fan art. Thanks for the retweet. You are super awesome. I was watching um, Beth. She met. We mentioned you because um, I was asking her. I, I was thinking that she lived in New Jersey for some reason. Even though I know. I mean, I just literally sent a package out to her to South Carolina. <laughs> So, like, <laughs> I don't know why I thought she was in New Jersey, but I think it was just because I'm, I know you're her, like, good friend. And, um, sorry, I just want to make sure I get this gesture right. Um, and then she was just saying that you lived, you live in New Jersey, and then I was asking her, I'm like, wow. You know, I didn't think of it, but I must suck. You know, you guys are, you know, best friends and stuff, and, you know, you're kind of so far apart. So, she's like, yeah, she wants to visit and stuff. Anyways. Kung Fury kicked ass, absolutely. That's cool. That's cool that you like that. Um... I guess what I'm finding out about you, Gabby, is you like all kinds of things that people might not expect. <laughs> Especially you were showing the cars the other day, and you were saying that um, girl women don't aren't typically the ones who are into car shows and stuff. And uh, that's cool. That's awesome. I love that you're just you know what you like and you're into it and. Regardless of what, you know, you know, society might say that you should be into fashion and pink things, which maybe you are, but you're also into this stuff. <laughs> maybe you're not. Who knows? We need more streams from you so I can know more about you. <laughs> Man, I wish, uh, I keep saying this, but I wish I had the new camera because I really wish I could be recording this. I mean, I guess I could take the, I could download the catch version, but it's like that, um, the profile view and not the horizontal view is the only thing I don't like about that, but it's better than nothing, right? Because I want to put it like on my YouTube and, and speed it up and stuff. Yeah, haha. 
Oh, it sucks, yes, but we have FaceTime and Skype and all this meerkat fun. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh, yes. Car shows, martial arts, and WW. WW2, is that like, is that like WWF or something? Bring it on. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh yes, I hope they do an upgrade so we can film horizontal. I heard, oh, World War II, okay, so like, I get it. Cool. Um, so, yeah, I, I heard, um, I feel like it was on Lydia's show, which you were probably on or whatever, or um, watching, but um, somebody's show, they were saying... Yeah, I think it was Lydia's the Saturday yesterday. Um, but uh, I think she was saying that uh, they try originally tried to do some kind of a horizontal view option or whatever, and didn't work out too well. And that's kind of part of what's cool, I guess. I think I think that's what's a little bit unique about this is it's like, you know, that's the typical way that uh, that you know people will point their phones like if they do selfies. It's like the natural way, and people forget to put it in horizontal view anyways. So that's kind of it's like one of those ease of use things, I guess. So I don't know. I don't know if it, it'll work out, which is fine. I just, like I said, I just want another camera and then I won't have to worry about that because <laughs> I want to like record all the art I'm doing on Meerkat. I want to also record um, for my YouTube videos. Get double duty, you know? I'm all about getting double duty with things. If I can, because I only have so much time. I don't know why I'm going in so much detail here on the head. I still haven't really gotten the gesture down right. It's like you always get lost in this stuff. You start messing around with details. And So it's like shoulders up here, and it goes down over here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like redraw this whole thing. It's not coming out. I wanna, I gotta make it bigger first of all. I'm drawing a little bit too small. Actually, kind of a lot too small. I want landscape mode on the mirror market. On Meerkat. Don't know why I said mirror market. So how's everybody doing today? <clears throat> it's a Sunday, beautiful Sunday out here. Of course I'm not outside in the beautiful Sunday, but <laughs> chilling in the studio as usual, which I don't mind because this is what I like to do. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> do 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 do. I mean, I gotta make sure he's like taking up a lot of room here, cause 
I want to do some lettering, but I want them to be nice and big too. So make sure I place his head on the, I'm going with shapes again. So I guess this is like the angle for this. And then his head is kind of propped. It's like a weird angle really. And you always think like from like this is the shoulders like from the shoulders to the head you always think there's a space but first of all it's never that long second of all depending on the shot a lot of times there's no space like the head is like kind of right here you know because it's like more of a down shot but in this case it's not See, if I talk you guys through this, it helps me to be focused. <laughs> All right. I'm tempted to bring the shoulder in because I keep thinking, thinking too small. So his head's got to be bigger. Sometimes it helps to kind of put it in boxes so you can get the angle right. There's some perspective here that I'm screwing up too. So this is the center line so it's got to be more towards this side than this side because this side is kind of close to us and then from the center line the head kind of does something like this and is propped up like this it's such a weird view so it's more like this I think is where the gesture is. Mark, what's up? Thanks for the retweet and the like. How you doing? It's beautiful, yes. Being hopeless on plenty of fish was told I should try it and about to stream in a few. Cool. Stony and at Denny's restaurant. Was that before Kung Fu Kung Fury <laughs> or after maybe that was after Stony was I watched him while he was like stoned <laughs> and drinking drunk right before he fell asleep and left his stream on All right, so this is about here, and this side of his face kind of comes out like this. The neck comes down like this. It's right in the center, I think, right here. And then the shoulder just kind of comes down small right there. And then his arm comes down like this. It 
items up here. And this arm is the one that's super close to us. It's his shoulder. Comes down right here. One thing that's interesting about drawing is you would people you know they they see artists and they're like wow they're like amazed by what they do and stuff and it's like wow you know you don't think of artists artistry as this but one thing is especially with you know more illustrative stuff um drawing is actually a very technical skill you don't think of it that way though but it's very much a technical skill like measuring stuff and, and getting proportions right is not easy <laughs> alright so I think that this gesture is much better than it was before Laugh aloud, Stoney is always funny. I love watching Stoney. He's he's freaking he rocks. I watched him for like three hours the other day. He was telling stories. I think it was Monday morning. Epically interesting as usual. Just before Kung Fury. Oh, okay. Damn, I'm at twenty five percent power. It's plugged in, but just keeps going down. It's annoying. I could technically grab my wife's phone, I guess, if she's not busy. Oh, actually, I have to feed the cats and soon. But I want to keep streaming. I might have to take a break. I'll probably keep streaming here and then. I'll run out into the other rooms, feed the cats, see what's going on, and then maybe grab my wife's phone, start streaming. If I, if I start having issues here. Alright, so. Is that head in the right spot? I think it is. I think this arm could be a little shortened too because it's in the distance. You know what? This shoulder doesn't come out so much. I also want to do like the movie title. So I want to make sure there's like enough room for that. That is why I've preferred drawing cartoons. It's way more forgiving. Well, that's what I'm saying, actually, is, like, the proportions, like, even if you're drawing cartoons, like, if you want to get the proportions right, um, I mean, I, I know what you mean, though, because, like, like you said, it's more forgiving, and, and you can, um, you can do a lot of um like exaggeration and stuff. And yeah, so I guess I guess I know what you mean. Like it is more forgiving. But it depends on, on like what kind of cartoons too. Like if you're drawing like Ren and Stimpy, <laughs> you know, obviously those proportions are like so different. Like you just gotta draw your little arms and little legs or something. And you kind of got, you know, Ren and Stimpy, little cat ears. I don't really know, I don't remember exactly how he looks. I'd have to look it up, but, you know, 
you got kind of that basic shape for I think that's Stimpy right I can't remember which is which but um so it's yeah it's kind of easy to easier to be right with those proportions but if you're drawing like a human you still it's those proportions are tough okay I mean I could kind of scribble this and not like and be a lot looser with this and and be quicker and it would still look cool um but in this instance I want to make sure I get it right a little more than I sometimes do because I want this to kind of be more of a finished piece than some like a lot of times you guys see me draw and it's really just on a sketch level you know I'm not really trying to be super perfect with it I mean I'm not I don't want to be a perfectionist anyway with any of the stuff I'm doing but Charging batteries while streaming is like swing, swimming against the waves. Yeah, absolutely. You on iPhone or Android iPhone? Have you ever used a Stedler lead holder? Yeah, I have one right here. Um, the lead is super light, so you guys wouldn't really be able to see it very well. So that's kind of why I'm using this other one. Um... Yeah, I like these a lot. Here's one thing I don't know if you knew. I didn't know at all. Like I just found this out. I've this I've had these pens forever or these pencils, but you take the lead out and you can sharpen it. There's like a little hole right there. You can sharpen the lead right there. I didn't even know that. I was always just like using like a nail file or whatever to sharpen it and it, you know, brings it to a nice point. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. The original Ren and Stimpy cartoons were awesome. I know. I loved them. Is that H or HB lead? Um, I think it's H. I think it is H. And getting the head proportions is its own science. And there's different methods, like different people do it differently and stuff like that. So it's like it's hard to know which one is going to be the one that works for you as far as measuring out all the proportions. I'm happy though. I got a lot done today. I got my video done. That was the main main thing. I mean, as far as like recording the the painting. Um, tomorrow I should be able to stream a little extra longer in the morning. Um, usually I I try to do streams in the morning, but I'm not working tomorrow, so I have you know I have an appointment and stuff with my wife or going out you know but I might be able to get in my morning thing and, and have a little bit usually I just have an hour in the morning so who knows maybe I'll even have a stream at night too we shall see how things work out you never know
Do I ever use color pencils in your work? Man, I've done just about everything. <laughs> but uh, I don't have like nice colored pencils, so I don't really use it that much. Oh wow, there's some stuff I missed here. Yeah, but it's terrible to use. They have a sharper sharpener that is amazing. And you can clean the lead as well. Oh, okay. That's cool. I didn't know that. Take that doodle of near foot I drew. The muscles were very exaggerated. Much easier to sketch then. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Creative 7 Inc. How you doing? Jamie. Thanks for stopping in and thanks for the like. I don't know if you're still here, but really appreciate it. Still have to get it proportionally right, yep. Regardless of what you're drawing, yep. Even if it's just a little circle and, a ha and some arms. Low battery, 20%. We're going to take you guys right to the limit. <laughs> Do you ever use color pencils? Okay, I was talking about that. Um, one thing that I like to use color pencils for sometimes is like doing a pe uh, like a painting or whatever and then going back in with some colored pencils. Um, I haven't done a ton of that, but I have done like using a white colored pencil to go in with highlights and it has a really cool look. Um, it's Drew Struzan, the guy who does all the, did all the amazing like Star Wars painting, poster poster paintings, and like Indiana Jones paintings and stuff like that. Um, he, that's kind of one of his secrets is he uses like colored pencil. He goes in with that and gets a really sketchy line in there. But I don't use it too, too much at the moment. I just don't have the courage that you have of showing my mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I guess I, I know what you mean. I got over that like a long time ago because I think the thing that, that makes me get over that is one thing that I kind of think is important for me. I mean, it depends on what you're trying to do. Like for me, I want to make a career out of this. Um, so I kind of have to get over stuff like that. Um, but trust me, every artist, I think, at least that I have come across, struggles with showing stuff that sucks or is not quite as good as they want it to be or whatever. Um, even I still do, but the fact that my goals aren't 100% artistic, although that is a big part of my goals, um, kind of helps. So, you know, yes, I want to make the most amazing art, but at the same time, I also want to make it into a career. So I kind of have to show it. I have to, you know, it, it's, there's just probably the biggest thing that hinders people from being professional artists is being in a place of obscurity. Um, where nobody has heard of you or anything and that is hard to break through um, I mean I've been pushing for a long time hustling trying to get people to see my art and and it's it's tough you know probably the most success I've had with with getting like response from people is here on meerkat and I've only been doing that for two weeks you know um, I mean, I have gotten a lot of attention here and there, but still, a lot of times it doesn't lead to any kind of paying stuff yet. Sometimes it does. Um, so that's the tough part. So I can't really get too caught up in the, I don't want to show my art because it's not perfect type of thing or else I just won't get anywhere, you know what I mean? So, and plus I just, I'm the type of person, that I'm very open with everything, and it's like, the thing is, is if I suck, I suck, you know? I can only, I don't know, 
Like, I'm not trying to trick people into I'm good, you know, if I suck. It is what it is. And people tend to respect that and people tend to like to see an artist get better as well. So that's like another thing that's kind of cool. A lot of times people, it's weird though, but a lot of times people will point out like, oh, you've been getting better. And, you know, it's funny because like they'll see a piece that I've done and they're like, it came out really good or whatever. And they're like, oh, I can see you're getting better. But they don't see everything I've ever done. So like they don't realize I've already been capable of doing whatever that was. It's just I was trying other different styles or different techniques. And um, so they haven't seen, you know, that kind of artwork. Like, for instance, realistic stuff. Like I've done a lot of work, like a lot of stuff playing with more cartoony stuff. But I can also do realistic. But people te who don't aren't artists tend to look at realism type of artwork. And that's what they get blown away by. Like, you know, put if you show them, like, some of your cartoony work. And then you go and show them, like, something that's more realistic. They're going to respect the one that's realistic. Um, before they'll respect the cartoony stuff. Artists know that there's a, di you know, there's also just as much skill in the cartoonist, cartoony stuff. But, you know, to the layman who doesn't, um, they'll look at that. So if I'm not showing the realistic stuff, and then all of a sudden I do show it, people are like, oh, you've improved so much. But really, I just was always able to do that, you know. But they, I just don't show that all the time. So I don't know. It's an odd thing. <laughs> Catch up with the stuff here. Push it to the limit. Yep. Android phones charge just fine while streaming. That's why I asked what you use. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I there's there's good and bad for both different, you know, Android and iPhone. You know, each have their pluses and minuses. So that's a big one, though, right there. Can you sew graffiti characters like the B-Boy ones? do I'm assuming um yeah I mean I can I guess do anything I don't I don't I'm not sure exactly what you mean but I have definitely drawn you know b-boys and I mean most of the stuff I've drawn in my life has been more on the graffiti style side of things Sadie how you doing thanks for the like and the retweet Jay says, I hear you. Sadie, I draw sometimes and I can only draw realistic. I've tried cartoon and I can't for the life of me do that. You know, I love that you said that because it's always a thing like, <laughs> it's so weird. Like people, like I said, people re respect the realistic stuff. And to me, the realistic stuff is the easier stuff, you know? Um, because if you've learned, the, if you've learned how to draw what you see, basically what you're doing with realistic stuff is you're looking at a reference and becoming a human photocopier, <laughs> you know? And while I love that, and that is definitely a valid form of art, um, people don't realize that to draw something out of your head or to draw cartoony, you have to understand anatomy in certain ways that maybe you you might not have to understand if you're just you know working in uh trying to draw off a reference and stuff and that's why i was saying before that you know art is a technical skill you know just as much as you know maybe drafting or architecture or something like that you know or like whatever so I mean knowing the structure of how the face works is not easy and even if you know it you practice and practice and practice and you're still going to screw up sometimes and I, I mean I still got a long way to go <laughs> but I love drawing realistically it's like relaxing I can just kind of zone out and draw what I see you know and I don't always even get it right then, you know? 
iPhones are better for Meerkat though. Yeah. The app is way better, I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Sadie says, yeah, realistic is looking at exactly what you need to draw and cartoon is all imagination and it's hard. Yep. <laughs> Jay says, that's what I was trying to explain the other day. I don't usually use shapes to start or use a reference. I just... I gotta go on this thing to see what you're saying. I just start drawing cartoons. Yeah. I feel you, man. I find it harder drawing realistic. I noticed that it it just it really just depends on what you draw and what you're comfortable with. It, that is so true. Like there are I have friends who draw more realistic and they have a hard time cartooning and friends who draw more cartoony and have a hard time drawing realistic. So I I it go it definitely goes both ways. Absolutely. Oh, where's my uh Where'd my reference go? Oh, here it is. So, um, I'm at 16% right now. So, I may be back after, you know, once this battery runs out. I'm not sure. I might even use my wife's phone. It depends on what's going on. I'm going to feed the cats and see what's going on. Um, if, if I still have time to hang out, then I, I might grab my wife's phone and uh, come back you know after my battery runs out so just so you know or the or this might be the end of it for the night <laughs> we shall see so has any of you guys who are watching have you seen uh, Kung Fury Fear, Kung Fury <laughs> that's what I'm doing like fan art of that right now and um freaking love that movie the mini movie I don't know what do you, do you really call it a movie I don't know it's like half an hour long but it plays like a movie so it's it's interesting I find it harder drawing realistic. It's weird, but I respect art. Just haven't been doing it for over 20 years. I find a lot of people have a hard time with the shading when they try realistic. Yeah, lighting can be tricky in shading. Absolutely. Marshall, you and Ryan have inspired me to get back into iTunes. I've seen it. Cool. I, I'm not sure I get what you mean, but awesome. By the way, I'm not claiming to be a good artist, lol, because in my opinion, I'm not good at all, so don't take note. Don't take notes from me. Um, honestly, my belief when it comes to being a good artist is I think we all suck, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Um, because first of all, we all kind of think we suck. <laughs> um, and really what it takes is we just need to keep trying and keep practicing. And no matter what level we get to, we're going to see other people who are better than us. So then we like to say we suck. But <laughs> to be honest, like, I don't, I doubt you suck. And if you're not so good, I, I don't believe for one second that you can't get better you know the only reason I can do as well as I do is because I've probably just practiced more that's all I 
I meant to type back into art. Okay, that's kind of what I thought, but it said iTunes, so then I was like really thrown for a loop. I don't know what my phone just did. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, yeah, well, I appreciate that, man. That's awesome that we were able to inspire you to get back into art, and I definitely look forward to seeing what you do. And yeah, it goes both ways, man. I'm sure I'm going to be inspired by your stuff. I really like the drawing you showed. Um, I, I'm always inspired by my friends who make art. I didn't write iTunes. <laughs> Sadie, I think the same about my art. I'll show you one of my sketches, Marshall. I would love to see some of your artwork, absolutely. And I know you're probably thinking, well, I'm going to prove you wrong. I really do suck. <laughs> you know what? We're all at whatever level we're at, you know. You want? I, one day I'll, I'll show you guys some of my old sketches. <laughs> and you'll be like, oh, yeah, he sucks just as much as I do. <laughs> you probably won't say that, but still, that's what's up. If you're wondering why I'm singing weird sounds and not playing music, it's because I am processing a video right now and my computer doesn't really want to let me do all this stuff at once. <laughs> so, that's what's up. The only thing is, do I want to try to get a likeness or not? Everybody's going to be like, it's like you kind of have to get a likeness or else people are going to be like, it doesn't look like him. Well, maybe I wasn't trying to make it look like him. That's all right, though. I got thick skin. Sadie, do you stream is the question. I streamed like twice, but now I'm just a commentator. You should stream. <laughs> you should do whatever you want. Um, Sadie, well, I don't stream often either. Anyway, following you in case you show some art or just to watch. Yeah, I, you know, I follow people all the time and they might not even ever stream. So I just keep following people anyways. I like to follow people who support other people because that's the kind of people I want to be around. Love Meerkat. I'll follow back Jean. I've only been on Meerkat less than a month and so impressed with community and positivity. I agree 100%. I've already met some wonderful people. Me too. You guys all included. Gotta bounce, Gabby says. Be back later. I want to see this piece when you're done. If I don't um, stream the whole process, I think I might still keep drawing it anyways tonight because I want to and yeah I'll be posting it on Twitter
And I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping in, Gabby. I support many, many f folks. Absolutely, man. So do I. And, and I respect you for doing that and anybody else because that's what it's all about, right? That is what it's all about, y'alls. See, if you, this is the thing, like why you don't want to get into detail. See, right now I'm moving the arms around. It's a lot easier to move the proportion, change the proportion and position of arms when they're only little stick figures still. So if you go in for detail too quick and the proportion's all messed up, then you got to like erase everything and redraw so much. So... trying to get this proportion right before I get into that detail <laughs> I mean I already did get into some detail here so if I find out that I'm screwing something up here then I'm gonna be screwed <laughs> I like using triangles for hands, kind of shaping out the hands first. And just by supporting you, you wouldn't believe how many people remember me. Oh, absolutely, I know. I mean, you're like a star, man. Like, that's the same thing with, like, Kelly and just so many people on here. Like, they're, they're supporting other people. So, like, once they, you know, do their first stream, it's like they get a bunch of people in their room because everybody now knows them and respects them for supporting people. That's why, well, that's not why, I mean, I just t tend to be very social online anyways, but, you know, that is something, like, I do know that is there, like, in the back of my head is, like, I, I go and watch a lot of people's streams, and, you know, I'm trying to support other people, I always want to just do that anyways, but I know that there is a reciprocal um, effect that happens as well. Viewer supporters... Yeah, exactly. It, it takes both viewers and supporters to really make this place awesome. And that's what's been a good strength of it. I tweeted you guys a picture, so check it out when you have time. Oh, absolutely, I will. Star. Laugh out loud. No, man. <laughs> but I started streaming and had one person talk to me. It depends on what time you go on and stuff, too. And I'm not saying, like, there's a good time and a bad time, but it's just weird. Sometimes you hit those pockets, and it do you can't even predict it, but sometimes you hit a pocket, and nobody will be in there. And then sometimes you hit a pocket, and tons of people will come in. It's so weird. But now I get a big group because I just comment everywhere and love to interact. Absolutely. Down to 11%. It's the countdown, guys. 11% <laughs> batteries. Thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. Um, I know not everybody's talking and stuff, but hopefully, you know, some of you people in here are real people and not ghosts, and hopefully you're enjoying it, the discussion. I know there's definitely times, like, that 
I'm on certain things and I don't really love talking or don't always talk so I know what it's like to just kind of want to watch and listen it's kind of how podcasting is for a lot of people they don't necessarily interact and I know that because I have a podcast and you know the interaction is pretty small even though I know people are listening because sometimes people do interact and it's like oh they've been listening this whole time they just haven't said anything so much easier to move this hand around every five seconds when I haven't drawn all the fingers and stuff. <laughs> so this is more, now I'm starting to get to the point where I can kind of shape this out to how it actually looks. One thing I got to remember is it's a little bit more turned in than it looks here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh boy, here we go. See, I can already see this arm like looks like it's longer than it's supposed to look. Ah. It's hard. Art is hard, like <laughs> it's hard emotionally. <laughs> Cause you're just like I don't know, for some reason you just like identify with what you're doing in a way where it's like if people don't like it or even if you don't like it, it's like you start to feel like you're a horrible person now because <laughs> you just suck, you know, I don't know. It's just the way, the way art works. Everybody's insecure who's an artist for the most part outside of a few who tend to be jerks actually. <laughs> It's like if you're not insecure, then you're like an egotistical jerk a lot of times, it seems, in the art world. And I think those people are egotistical jerks because they probably were insecure and didn't know how to go the other way without going too far. Artists are weird. <laughs> Artists are weird. It's gonna be my new song. Artists are so effing weird. What is wrong with us? Do do do. Marsh, I can't remember what the art style is called, but have you ever tried drawing people like they do at fairs? Oh, like, um, uh, no, I'm trying to think of what it's called. It's called, um, caricatures. Yeah, um, have I ever tried... I think I've done it by accident before. <laughs> um, I never really, I've always been impressed by that. Like, you know, like it's, it is kind of cool. Like you, you're at a fair and you almost, it, it really is like, oh, I, I want that done of me. Like, that's cool. But at the same time, as an artist, I've never wanted to like actually draw like that. Cause I think it's just not the style I, I, I would like to draw like. I've always been attracted to like comic book style drawing and stuff like that. Um, but I think I have before by accident. 
and I kind of hate when that happens because like I said I don't really love that style for my own art you know even though I do admire it and and think it's cool to see and it's cool that how they get people's likeness you know and it's like it's almost like they all look the same sort of but in the same way they're able to make it look different enough that it actually looks like the actual person. So, I mean, obviously, the good ones are able to do that. Okay. Okay, you two awesome people, I gotta run. I'll take a look at the sketch, Sadie. Alright, dude. I'll see you later. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for hanging out with us. We were having fun, but now we're bored because you're leaving us. Just joking. <laughs> do, do, do. Wow, we're still at 12%. goodness it is so hard guys to get this proportion right See, this is the point where a lot of people might be like, they might like throw it away or something. <laughs> be like, I suck at drawing and then stop drawing for a week or two or whatever. But my goal isn't necessarily to make the best picture ever. My goal is to finish something that's pretty cool <laughs> and close enough. <laughs> And I think that's that's kind of a way of tricking yourself, I guess, into getting stuff done. You know, you can't make your goals being the best artist ever. You have to make your goals like finishing something or like with sketchbooks even. This is one thing that kind of revolutionized my thinking was um, your goal shouldn't be to... Uh, you know make really awesome drawings in your sketchbook your goal should be to finish a sketchbook a month or something like that and put as many crappy drawings as you can in there and um, maybe some of them will be good <laughs> and eventually those crappy drawings will start turning into good drawings but you're never gonna get to the good drawings if you don't draw a bunch of crappy ones first everybody your favorite artist drew a lot of crappy drawings at some point in his life you know his or her life everybody draws crappy drawings nobody comes out of the womb being able to you know be Rembrandt or whoever is an amazing artist and if they say they are they lying and if it really is true, I'm just going to pretend they're lying. Because <laughs> I don't want to live with the knowledge that I suck. 
No, I don't know. I'm just being goofy. Ooh, 10% battery remaining. 9%. <laughs> well, guys and girls, women, men, um, whenever this cuts out, just let, just know that I love you. And I might be back. <laughs> But thank you for hanging out with me. Um, and I really appreciate it. Leila. Oh, hey. I was watching your show. How you doing? Thanks for stopping by. And Unfortunately, I'm going to die in a few seconds. Thank you for... And, uh, art of Kung Fu. What? I want to know. I don't know if I even know what's in the, in the smoke. I'm sure he's got a name title of some. Dr. Kick Ass Guy. <laughs> Appreciate everybody being. I'm at here since I'm about to die on terms and shake so that won't. that's about it guys thank you for checking in I'm at 3% battery I will talk to you next time later